This is a short video on custom sequencer commands. Custom sequencer commands are very easy to make. In this example, we've made a custom command named Quake. This is what it looks like. To make a custom sequencer command, copy the template script named sequencer command template located in plugins, pixel crushers, dialog system templates. It contains comments indicating exactly what you need to do. Sequencer commands are mono behaviors. They have some special functions that allow you to read the parameters that are sent to them. In this example, we use getParameterAsFloat to get the value of the first parameter. When we want to finish a sequencer command, we must call the stop method. Sequencer commands must be named sequencer command and then the name of your command, as in this case, sequencer command quake for the quake command. And you can see in the dialog, we just use that last part, quake, in the sequence. Once again, this is what it looks like. As you're writing your own sequencer commands, feel free to look in the sequencer commands folder to see how other sequencer commands have been written. And that's it for custom sequencer commands. Pretty simple.